Communicating with your coaches is something that I need you to start getting a little bit more comfortable with, asking questions. Um, and part of what we're trying to get, now that we're moving into some more technical work, is we need a working relationship with our setters, okay? Libero's just the same. It's, it's a, a skill position. You guys need to ask questions. So what I would like from you moving ahead, and this goes for setter practice, or if you're in regular practice with your coaches, or you're in a game time situation, if a coach says something that you're not 100% sure what he or she is trying to get through to you, please ask, what does that mean? I don't understand. Or this is what I feel that means, are we on the same page? Okay, start really working with your coaches on that. And then the other aspect of it, or the other side of what I want you to do is setters, I want you to start thinking less about what you need to do better, meaning, oh, because I hear it all the time, and it's from everyone from Tall and Charlotte all the way down to other setters, it's they're focused more on what they did wrong, not what they're trying to accomplish. So I'd prefer you to start working with your coaches to understand what the what you're trying to accomplish so that the the best way i can explain it is we're trying to run a second step offense at the higher levels so instead of saying oh did i drag my foot it's did i get the right result for my hitter to be successful so it's more about what you're trying to accomplish rather than the, the little nitpicky things that we're doing. So again, we're moving into more technical work, so we need to think a little bit more about just more smart things so that we're getting better as setters to be a little bit more savvy. So we're gonna do some vision work. So I need you two on the line, okay? You get a ball and you get a ball. What we're gonna do, maybe a step back, okay? so. You're gonna to toss to yourself, you're gonna set. She's gonna bounce that ball to you, okay? So this is the beginning of our vision work. So, and then as the ball is coming back, you're gonna set, she's gonna bounce it to you, okay? All right, so set to yourself, really keep it going. Okay, not set to yourself, so you do it to start, there you go. Good. So you have to, have good, this is a great example of what I was talking about. You have to have good technique to be able to locate the ball. Okay. Okay, yeah. The, yeah, not that, okay? We want to, and you don't want to do that either, okay? Char's a bad bouncer. So, now the second one of this is gonna be a chest toss, so a basketball toss. So the same thing, straight across, go. So you have to locate quick. But again, this is a good example of, we need to still maintain a high level of technique to be able to have good vision. There you go, good talk. Okay, good, very good. Okay, so we're really working on, <laughs> you have to be nice to your partners. <laughs> Please be nice to your partners. Don't shoot this ball at their head, okay? Let's work on it, okay? Take your time. Now, Liberos, where are you? Okay, you all right, Sam? Yeah. Okay, Liberos, you're gonna go over on the short court and work on out of system setting with Taylor. Okay, go, yeah. Okay, setters, find, get a ball and a partner spread out. We're gonna work on some eye work. 